But when you believe shit hits the fan and it makes you feel contracted, what do many of us do? We start judging ourselves. We start judging our process. We start judging our progress. We start judging what I might, might think of your situation. You start judging why you feel bad again and you never want to feel this way. Well, that's not necessarily a negative statement because it's a learning statement. You're learning from your negative feeling that that's not what you prefer, which is a great statement. But if you have a negative attitude about what's happening, if you're judging yourself in what's happening, you're going to continue the negative downward spiral. And you're going to feel worse and worse and worse, and you're going to call into being all the opposites of that which you actually desire. Until your life is so filled with opposites, meaning the things you don't want, that you feel so stuck that there's only one way to go, which is up. Now you don't have to get that far down if you don't want to, but that is the final safe, feel safe, switch thingy, and it works. The system works. You will call into being more and more and more of the things you don't want until you wake up. But you can wake up more and more along the way. And you can catch yourself as you start to feel bad. You can catch yourself as you start to think negatively. You can catch yourself when you start to perceive lack. You can catch yourself as soon as you have a bad feeling of any kind. You can catch yourself when you drop out of your bliss. Now, catching yourself is not the same as judging yourself. Catching yourself is a positive experience. It's a welcoming experience. You will welcome in the fact that you were off beam for a second. You welcome in the fact that you were shut out of your own energy accumulation, center, vortex, nucleus. <laughs> you went a little off. That's okay. That's a positive experience because it shows you that you went a little off. If that experience did not feel bad, you would not have a clue and you would be completely not exploring the intention you have here to explore. So this guidance mechanism of feeling bad needs to be welcomed as a positive event. As soon as you feel bad, you feel good about feeling bad. Right? If you don't get the hang of this by next week, don't come back. Very basic. As soon as a bad feeling comes your way, the first response might still be the old conditioned fear response, but let's move this up a notch. Let's move our collective boulder baseline up a notch by saying that you're not welcome here this week, next week, if you do not feel positive about negative feelings. Can you all do that? Can you all work on this this week so that we can move on? Move up the trampoline a little bit and get even higher? Okay, so as soon as you feel bad during the next seven days, more and more train yourself to every time appreciate that. Welcome it in. See it as a positive event that you're feeling bad because it means your guidance system is operational. It means your higher self is fully functional, present to you, and an absolute unconditional love of your process. That's all it means. So if you come back here next week or tune into the live stream, I am assuming that you've got that one down. Okay? If not, then do some more homework and return when you feel ready and when you are no longer afraid of bad feelings. As soon as a bad feeling arise, arrives, you appreciate it. You welcome it in. You look at it. You have fun with it. You play with it. You don't go, oh boy, I did something wrong. Or, man, oh man, oh man, I don't want to feel this. How can I distract myself? Or, shit, I don't want to feel this way. It must be someone else's fault. None of these things. As soon as you feel bad, you are excited about feeling bad. And then I'll see you again next week. Good? Awesome. Because we can linger and linger and linger on the same concept, but it will never change if we don't actually decide that that's what we want to move into. And it's not that hard. Particularly this one is not that difficult. All you have to do is look at your negative definitions about negative feelings and turn them into positive interpretations of the negative feelings and you'll start to feel better and better as soon as a negative feeling arises. It's that simple. Seven days is a leisurely amount of time to integrate this. Now ease is easy. Ease is easy. To get into ease is always easy. It's sometimes easier than to get into bliss. So when you feel mediocre and you catch yourself I don't feel quite as good or amazing as I want to feel because I want you to raise your standards without increasing your judgment. It's a tricky thing. 
when you increase your standards, like I want to feel amazing 80% of the time consciously during the day, that's quite a high standard for humans. And so when we set the standard that high, most people are inclined to when they then monitor and catch themselves, immediately judge themselves and hold themselves against that standard. That's not the same thing as being inspired to be as much of yourself as you can for 80% of the day. Don't judge yourself when you're feeling bad. Again, that's a negative interpretation of bad feelings. Bad feelings signify that you're doing really, really, really well. Does that make sense? If you weren't doing really, really well, what feels bad to you now, that actually used to be your baseline and you didn't even notice it. You were just like, yeah, someone asked you how you were doing, you were like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm pretty good. The weather is shitty, but I'm, I'm all right. But now, that actually doesn't feel exciting anymore. It doesn't feel like you're being fully yourself when you feel like you're in a mediocre state. So raise the bar, what you want is to feel amazing all the time, as much as you can, without judging yourself when you don't, with only having positive interpretations of when you don't. Because that's the quickest way to shoot back into alignment, to say, create this safe net around your positive state, that as soon as you jump out of your alignment, the first thing that catches you is a positive interpretation of jumping out of alignment. So you build this trampoline of positive interpretations one circle out around the circle that represents being in full alignment. So as soon as you slip out of that first circle, the first safety net is not go helping you go down the drain by saying, I'm so bad, I'm so terrible, this means I am a victim, this means I am not good enough, this means this, this means that. But you generate a safety net right around that inner sphere of your total alignment. And it functions like an ambulance. So instantaneously, all the sirens go off. As soon as you jump out of alignment, you notice it, it feels bad. But the first interpretation you've programmed yourself with is, oh jolly, <laughs> oh jolly, I feel bad. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, what an event. What a beautiful, beautiful circumstance this is. What an amazing event. I feel so delighted that I'm made to feel bad Thank you for showing me, higher self, that you're always present with me even when I'm not. Thank you for showing me that I'm unconditionally worthy of your presence. Because without your presence, I would simply not notice that I was out of alignment. But since you're always present to me, it's so clear to me whenever I jump out of the sphere, out of the center of that beam of that alignment that I wish to be in. 